The Northern Territory Government's policy on holding drunk Aboriginal people in custody will be scrutinised during an inquest starting tomorrow. The coroner will look into the death of a man at the Darwin Police Watch House in May. The 59-year-old was taken into custody under the Government's new paperless arrest regime. Jane Barden reports. So this one is um, this one is one of the most recent ones he did in 2008. Some of the last reminders of Kumanjay Langdon are books aimed at teaching the children of his remote Central Australian so Aboriginal so community so to read. The family's lawyer hopes the inquest will probe both the circumstances of his death and his legacy. He was a man who um, was very well liked and respected in his community. Um, he played an important role within his family, bringing up a number of children, um, and he also played a really important role in the education of kids. The artist died in the Darwin Police Watch House in May. And this one is all too tragic in the circumstances, but translates to the, the uh, man is falling down from being drunk. The Northern Territory Government had paid for Kumanjay Langdon to travel from his community of Uendamu to Darwin for heart tests. He didn't attend. But in the week before he died, he was picked up by the police and taken to hospital twice, once when severely drunk and again after falling over drunk. The third time Kumanjay Langdon was picked up by the police was at this city centre park for drinking. During the inquest, his lawyer will question his detention under a paperless arrest and whether a vulnerable drunk person should have been incarcerated. We need to change our whole perspective from being one of punitive approaches, of policing approaches, to being one that deals with it as a health issue. Well, the fact is, is that uh, we bring drunk people into custody to protect them from themselves uh, and from time to time to protect the community from them. Kumanjay Langdon's family say he regularly drank heavily and slept rough while away from home, but they want answers about his care in Darwin. We know that's what's health and drinking and all that. But uh, the situation we are looking at is the uh, police responsibilities in uh, caring or what's not. The police say before his death, Kumanjay Langdon was checked by a nurse in the watch house and checked more regularly than required. Jane Barden, ABC News.